I've been using this iPad ever since it came out back in 2017. And I have to say that it still performs very well to this day. I am gonna share with you some of the things that I've done in order to keep this seven year old iPad running as new so that I don't have to spend 800, 900, $1,000 on an iPad that I'm pretty much going to use the same way as this one. This first tip is pretty obvious, but you wanna make sure that you update to the latest versions of iOS because those versions tend to have some performance improvements as well. The thing you wanna keep in mind though is that the older your iPad, the less new features you will get, but it's still beneficial for you to update to the latest version of iOS just for those performance improvements. The second tip I have for you is that I don't use a lot of storage on this iPad. This iPad is 256 gigabytes and I have used around maybe 50, maybe 75, maybe a little bit more. Also helps with my iPad's performance because the more storage that I have, the more room iOS has to open apps, update apps, and other sorts of activities that I use this iPad for. The more free space this iPad has, the faster iOS will perform. That way it can open apps faster, it can fetch mail quicker, it can do a whole bunch of things quicker without having to worry about that storage. Another tip that I have is if you have apps that you no longer use, delete them. By deleting them, you'll free up space, which to my previous point is very helpful for maintaining your iPad's performance. These next few tips are tips that I saw online. They're not tips that I use. The final tip that I have that I would recommend you do is to disable background app refresh. Not only helps with your iPad speed, but it also helps with your iPad's battery. And you can also use this on your iPhone. What background app refresh does for those who are not familiar is if that feature is turned on, then all of your apps would update in the background, whether you are connected to Wi-Fi or your cellular network. By turning this feature off, your apps no longer have to update in the background, which will take away the precious resource of your iPad. One tip is to turn off notifications. And while I don't agree in general, you should tone down the notifications to the apps that are important to you. I have turned off notifications for several apps, but I don't think in my opinion that it's going to make a performance difference either way. Now this tip is only if you use Safari, but clearing out your cache and cookies is supposed to help your iPad run faster. However, if you delete the cookies, then any websites you tend to frequently visit are going to get messed up because you may have to log in again. You may have to adjust the location again. You may have to do different things depending on the website and it could be a bit of an inconvenience especially for those websites you frequent the next tip is disabling spotlight search maybe it's because with spotlight search it searches everything on your ipad so if you disable that feature then your ipad doesn't have to take up precious resources indexing everything and looking through all of your apps, your messages, your emails, etc. And that is it. Those are some of the tips that I recommend that you use and some other tips that I saw online in order to keep your iPad performing as new. You don't have to spend six, seven, eight hundred dollars on an iPad, especially if you follow these tips and they work for you. Do you have any other tips to include? Leave them in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. And if you are new, please consider subscribing. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.